Your heart needs to be strong to keep up. Flora, for a strong heart today. The Comrades Marathon is considered an achievement by runners and non-runners alike for the strength and determination required by competitors. Pindi Gule knows all about this as a second-time Comrades competitor, businesswoman and radio station manager. Pindi, you only started running two years ago and yet you're already going on to your second Comrades. I've always thought running is easy and maybe I should give it a, I should give it a try. Kevin, um, my partner, is a, is a runner so I used to go to races and support him. But um, I got tired of that because I just used to literally sit on, the, uh, sit on the side of the road and then I thought I need to give it a try and I did. After her first Comrades, Pindi toured around South Africa as a Comrades Marathon ambassador presenting talks which encouraged women to take up the sport of running. I have respect for everybody who finishes comrades, irrespective of whether they get the medal or not. It just means something, you know, that people are able to push themselves mentally and physically. And that's precisely it for me, that um, I needed to challenge myself, see how far my body can carry me. It's not an impossible race. If I could do it from being a non-runner, the only thing I could run, and I mean run very well, is a bath. And I completed comrades. <laughs> Come on, everybody can run, comrades. A major source of Pindi's motivation to start running was her partner and five-time comrades competitor, Kevin Burley. You've run comrades before, so what tips do you have for the viewers watching? It is a long race. Um, there's a lot of excitement at the start. So take it easy, first of all. You know, get your rhythm, get comfortable, make sure you, you take regular drinks, but not too much. Drink when you're thirsty. And, and enjoy it because the hard part for comrades is the year of training. It's not actually the day. The day can be really enjoyable. There's lots to do before comrades, but Lisa and Pindi have some important tips for you before the big race day this coming Sunday. Well, I haven't had any experience running comrades, but last night I phoned a friend to get some good old advice from legend Bruce Fordyce. And I thought between his advice and yours, our viewers will be just fine. Tip number one, drive the route beforehand to get familiar with what lies ahead. Tip number two, runners shouldn't spend a lot of time at the exhibition centre. Collect your race number and then go home. You want to save your legs because you'll be running a long distance the following day. Don't stop to chat to people at the seconding tables. Don't sit down and do not have a massage. If you cramp, try not to stop. Differ your stride length. Run with pigeon toes or duck feet. Whatever you can, just change the muscles that you're using. This could definitely help. And most importantly, you've spent a lot of time in preparation for the big race and during the race. Make sure that you spend adequate time in recovery as well. Proper recovery from the comrades is a lengthy process which starts at the finish line and can last up to a week after the race. Dr. Craig Roberts, the official Springbok team doctor, is well versed when it comes to recovery after a tough sporting event. Dr. Roberts, why is it so important to follow a recovery program after an endurance race? Well, a comrades uh, race is, I mean, it's a really big ultra, ultra marathon as we know, and your body does take quite a hammering from it. Uh, there's a lot of strain on your muscles, it's a long way, and it's a lot of, a lot of time on your legs working. So, Recovery is important in terms of maximizing your ability to get back to training and also to recover from the muscle damage that occurs. Well, you've sparked my interest, so what are some of the things that you can do? There's been a lot of research lately and traditionally everyone was using ice baths and uh, they went to a stage where people thought ice baths weren't beneficial. In the last year or two, there have been some very interesting studies saying that there are beneficial effects from ice baths. So I would definitely recommend people get in the ice baths to help with their recovery. Besides a refreshing ice bath, there are additional steps you can take for healthy recovery. Compression garments help prevent deep vein thrombosis and assist in regulating blood flow after the race. A sports massage is shown to help decrease inflammation of the muscles and increase the speed of recovery at a cellular level. The intensity of a race like Comrades is off the charts. Is it good for the body to put it through so much? A long event like that does take its toll on its body, but I think, you know, it's a lot of people's on their bucket list to complete the comrades and I think it's a, it's a great achievement for those people that can do it but you do, your body does take quite a hammering. This year it's an up run which is a lot easier than a down run. When you're coming down you put a lot more load on your muscles so it does take more, more strain. I would encourage everyone to do it. I think it's something that uh, once in your lifetime you should try and do at least. Remember, proper training, preparation and a good recovery can make your dream of comrades a healthy and enjoyable experience.